Hello there, this is the Platypus and today in this little video I will try to show you how to properly use Shadow Pass inside of Octane for Cinema 4D. So, let's begin. Let's say we have a sphere, for example, in our scene and we want to catch the shadow of this sphere. Well then, nothing too complicated, very simple. We create a plane that will be our shadow catcher, make it big enough so it catch all the shadow of our sphere. Make sure of this plane you have one segment by one segment, so it's, it's easier for Octane to render and less er error will uh, happen in the render, in the final render. So now we want we have to assign to assign uh, to this element an object Octane object tag here, active enable the object ID, set it to two. One will not work. I'm not sure why, but select your layer ID to 2 in your shadow catcher. Now, we just have to activate the pass in Octane. Select Octane as our main renderer, enable passes, and enable just here at render layer. Enable it, select your shadow catcher, and invert it, I will show you why, and select shadow. Boom, you have your shadow pass. And I have my sphere here. But if I don't invert it, I will have my shadow but on my sphere. And I don't want that. I want my shadow to be on my shadow catcher. So I need to invert it. And everything works great. So you maybe want to have your shadow on alpha. Well then, no problem at all. You just need to go into your octane settings. Make sure to go in to to check alpha channel in your render just like this and then it's set up here and now in our pass we don't want to use shadow pass but black shadow pass boom now it's in alpha it's on alpha so i will uncheck shadows because i don't need it anymore i just want my shadow to be on alpha Everything works great. The last thing you want to do to uh, to completely set up your shadow pass is to create a material that you will apply in your shadow catcher. So here, create diffuse material. Anything specular or glossy doesn't matter. You go to common, to the common tab here, and you check matte. Boom. Now you apply it on your shadow catcher. As you can see, the shadow will be more and more dense with this texture applied, but it solves a lot of problems. For example, if my sphere has a reflective material, so we'll create a glossy material, a, com a perfect mirror material here, like so, and I apply it in my sphere. Now in my main tab, oops, apply it on my sphere. Okay, I need to uh, set up uh, a daylight so the reflection works properly, like this. In my sphere, everything works great. So you, and you need to have this matte option checked on the this material applied on your shadow catcher because if it's not the case, you will see your shadow catcher in the reflection of your matter of your of your object in your object so you need to you need to be sure that a material with these settings are set up and put it in your uh, in your shadow catcher a problem that can occur with uh, octane daylight as we are here is that let's say our main object uh, goes through our shadow catcher, then you will see this really, really weird things happen, thing happen. Our shadow is stretched all the way in uh, our in our plane, and that's normal because uh, in the basic daylight system of Octane, our light is completely horizontal, it goes right to the left. So our shadow is completely horizontal also. 
so this happened. To solve it, we need to enable in your Octane Daylight and go to this Sun Expression tag. By default, it disable. I really don't know why, but you need to go in Basic and enable this tag, just like so. And now, you can set up everything you want, and if it goes through, if your object goes through your Shadow Catcher, no problem at all. And everything was great. You just need, you just have to select the hour of uh, of the day for to select the position of the sun, to select the light you want, and uh, that's it. Now you just have to render your beautiful element, and your shadow pass will work correctly. Just don't forget to check Alpha Channel in your Save tab, so you can have. An alpha channel for your shadow. So that's it for the shadow pass inside of Cinema 4D. I wish you a great day and bye bye.